Did you just get orders to PCS to Hill Air Force Base in Utah? Or maybe you're a contractor and you're coming to work at Hill as well. Well, today I have five cities that are north of Hill Air Force Base that will help you decide maybe where you wanna live. Don't forget to tune in to my last video about Hill Air Force Base where I talk about the five cities that surround the base. Today, I'm gonna to head north, like I said, and talk about five cities that you might consider living in. Hey, it's Stacy Christofferson, C4 Real Estate Team with Coldwell Banker in Farmington, Utah. Five cities north of Hill Air Force Base. I love all of these places, so I'm gonna to start today with South Ogden. So South Ogden is approximately 15 minutes north of Hill Air Force Base. Your easiest access is probably gonna be the South Gate, which is open 24 seven. The population in South Ogden is approximately 17,000 people. It's not very big. Um, and again, when you're in Utah, you go from one city to the next, you don't know. You literally cross a light and you're in a different city. But South Ogden is kind of up on a hill. Um, the median age in there is probably about 30 to 50, somewhere in there. Um, the super cool thing about South Ogden is they have nine parks. So there's no shortage of places to go walk the dog, take the kids, or just enjoy a sunny day. If you're looking for shopping in South Ogden, Harrison Boulevard is going to be your go-to area. There's all kinds of um, grocery stores and shops. And then right around South Ogden, we have Ogden Regional Hospital. We also have McKay D Hospital. So there's all kinds of dentists, orthodontists, um, any kind of doctor probably that you would need, including the hospitals. As far as housing goes, your more expensive homes are gonna be on the south end of South Ogden, um, up higher, and then they get less expensive as you head north. The least expensive homes, according to this, the research that I did, are right in South Ogden, what they call city center. According to Neighborhood Scout, you're gonna find better schools on the south side of South Ogden, and then I mean, according to their chart, they're the worst. But again, I highly recommend you go to greatschools.net to find out teacher to student ratio. Um, you can find out test scores. You can find out free lunches and all kinds of things. Greatschools.net is a great resource if you're looking for schools. Again, if you lived in South Ogden, your commute to Hill Air Force Base on the south side is anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. It's super close. I'm gonna head north now and just go to Ogden. So Ogden gets a terrible bad rap, right? So people think it's the ghetto, that there's high crime there. And to be honest, the crime rate is higher there, but man, they are revamping Ogden. It's awesome. Shopping on Historic 25th Street is fantastic. There's all kinds of restaurants and bars. Check out this video popping up now about the five favorite restaurants that we have near 25th Street or in Ogden. Um, Ogden's a great place. You're super close to the mountains, so if you're a skier, Ogden's a wonderful place. I would highly recommend the east side of Harrison Boulevard. We call it the East Bench. Um, and there's some super cute cottages up there. It goes all the way up to trailheads and there's all kinds of hiking, but the houses up there are super cute. Again, check out greatschools.net for the schools in Ogden. Um, Shadow Valley is a neighborhood that just borders South Ogden and Ogden. They have the highest rated, highest rated elementary school and then the kids are zoned for Ogden High School. So just take a look at those and make sure that that fits what you're looking for for your kids. Again, according to my research, the better schools are on the south end of Ogden um, and the safest neighborhoods are on the east side. So crime tends to go up as you go west. But I love Ogden. It's got great history. Um, for those of you who are, who are interested, it does have an LDS temple. And again, it's super close to recreation up in Ogden Valley for summer and winter sports. 
our third city we're going to talk about is North Ogden. So South Ogden, Ogden, North Ogden, which kind of runs into Pleasant View as you go north. Um, I love North Ogden as well. Talk about views. You are literally at the base of the mountains and the views just are killer. There's just over 19,000 people currently in North Ogden. The infrastructure in North Ogden has not quite caught up with the houses, but your drive from North Ogden to Ogden is about 10 minutes. So no big deal for shopping. They do have a big Smith's right there in North Ogden. There's Lee's, there's a handful of restaurants, but most of your um, cool restaurants that are kind of bohemian and are gonna be on historic 25th Street. Um, if you're looking for somewhere to get a cocktail, check out this video on the five best bars in Ogden. The most expensive homes are gonna be north of 3100 North. Weber High School is right on 3100 North. If you go above Weber High School, yeah, it's Weber, not Weber. Weird, huh? They say everything weird here. They have some killer million dollar houses up on the hill north, again, of Weber High School, and they just keep going up the mountain. Um, eventually they're gonna run out of space, but man, some gorgeous million dollar homes. If you want a tour of those, I'm happy to take you. The safer neighborhoods are gonna be, again, further north. As you go south towards Ogden, it shows that the crime goes up. But that's just, like I said, that's Ogden. It's not a bad place, guys. Ogden is awesome. So again, North Ogden, very safe. There's two or three elementary schools that feed into two or three junior highs, and they all feeding feed into Weber High School um, up there in Pleasant View. I would say your commute from North Ogden to Hill Air Force Base is gonna be anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes depending on traffic and weather, but it's a straight shot on the highway and not a bad commute. Let's go west for a minute into West Haven. So West Haven used to be primarily farmland and it is getting developed like crazy right now. Some super cute cottage homes that are being built, tons of new construction out there. The only issue with the cottage homes, the lots, the yards are super small. I'm talking about one tenth of an acre and that includes the house. So super small. If you don't need a yard, they might be ideal. Uh, most of those do have homeowner association dues. Those vary by neighborhood. But West Haven's great. Again, they're working on the infrastructure out west. So West Haven, you do have to come east and then go south before you can get to the highway. Um, and so your commute to Hill from West Haven, again, might be about a half hour. Sometimes traffic can get pretty congested coming in from West Haven just because there's not that many ways to get to the highway from West Haven. They're working on extending Legacy Highway. You can Google that at the uh, Utah Department of Transportation. It's the Legacy Highway Extension, and it is going out west, which will help all of the infrastructure out there for sure. If you need to do shopping and you live in West Haven, again, you're gonna have to pop into Ogden, or you can go um, south and go to like Clinton, Clearfield, or even into Layton. The high school, if you live in West Haven, you're probably gonna go to Fremont High School. The cool thing about West Haven is they have tons of parks. Check this map out. Like, there are parks everywhere for this little West Haven city. So, it is a cool place to live, and sometimes if you buy some older homes, you can get a bigger lot. My final city, north of Hill Air Force Base, I'm gonna head up into Ogden Valley. I'm gonna go to Huntsville. I love Huntsville. It's a super small town, literally no stoplights to be found. They have a few stop signs, but that's about it. Pineview Reservoir is up there to recreate. And of course you have Powder Mountain Snow Basin and Nordic, um, and Nordic Ski Resort to ski in the winter. I hate to even mention it because it's getting crowded like everywhere else right now, but it's awesome. The only thing, if you live in Huntsville and you commute to Hill Air Force Base, you're probably looking at a 30 to 40 minute commute. On snow days, it can be a little bit hairy. You're gonna want a four wheel drive or some kind of vehicle that's really good in the snow. It does snow up there, it's in the mountains. And, um, but if you want that small town feel and some space, Huntsville might just be the place for you. Huntsville does not even have a grocery store. You go north, to Eden, 
It's about 12 minutes from Huntsville. In the town of Huntsville itself, there's a barbecue place, uh, the Shooting Star, which is famous. Check out this video on the places to eat in Huntsville. There's a coffee shop, a couple hotels. But if you need big grocery runs, you're gonna have to go to Ogden to Costco, or you're gonna have to go to Smith's. There is one elementary school and one junior high in Ogden Valley, which whether you live in Huntsville, Eden, or Liberty, we'll go to, and then all of these kids commute to Weber High School. That's another challenge in itself, and you can check out my video on the pros and cons of living in Ogden Valley to find out exactly what that looks like. So these are my five cities that I love north of Hill Air Force Base. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, and we look forward to hearing from you and helping you find your dream home.